hello and welcome to the channel in this short video i'm going to show you a refresher on how to calculate depreciation using the declining balance method i know you might say oh depreciation is very easy but i'm going to give you a backstory recently i was auditing a client and i was auditing the property plant and equipment section and then i realized the client uses the declining balance method and I needed to recalculate the depreciation as part of my audit procedures. But it's been a while since I ever used the declining balance method. At that point, I had to take a step back to go revisit, you know, how to use this method. So because of that, I'm going to be sharing with you, if you ever come across this declining balance method, how to calculate your depreciation using this method. So let's look at the example I have right here. So we also call it the reducing balance method so in order to um, use this method let's start with the details that we need we need the cost of the assets you want to get that information you want to know the year of acquisition or when that asset was acquired yeah it was acquired july 1st 2021 you want to know the useful life okay in this case um, the useful life is five years and then you also want to know the depreciation rate and if you don't know that the depreciation can also be calculated and that will be one divided by the useful life okay so in this case that will be one divided by what five and that will give us 20 percent so once you have those information you're going to put those information in a table like this so the year we have um was acquired in 2021 so that will be for five years that's 2021 to 2025 and we have the useful life which is what five years and then we calculated our depreciation right here and then we got 20 percent so we are going to put the 20 percent depreciation rate right here now we need to know the depreciation formula how are we going to determine our depreciation expense so in the first year when the asset was acquired you are going to multiply the depreciation rate by the cost of the asset okay which is fifty thousand dollars multiplied by the period okay that it was acquired up to the end of that um year so it was acquired july which is from july um, 2021 to december of that year that will be six months so we are going to multiply by six divided by 12. so that means our depreciation expense will be worth five thousand dollars and at the end of the year the net book value of our asset will be fifty thousand minus forty five so in the next year, you're not going to multiply 20% um, by the cost again. This time, you're going to multiply 20% by the net book value. That's the, um, the ending value as of the previous year. So that will be $45,000 times 20%. So this time, we are depreciating for a full year, not half year. Okay, so we'll be multiplied by 12 divided by 12. And that will give us our depreciation expense of what? 9000 and then our net um, ending value will be what 45 minus 9 can you see so our ending value will be what um, the value as at the last year minus the depreciation expense for this year so that's what you're going to do for the third year also you're going to multiply by the net book value as at the year end multiplied by the depreciation rate and then 12 divided by 12 so in this case, we are assuming there's no salvage value or there's no residual value, okay? So you do that until you get to the last year. So in that year, you don't need to multiply by the depreciation rate again because the value at the end of the year has to be zero, okay? So in that case, the value at the end of the fourth year will be our depreciation expense for that last year, okay? Because that will give us a value of zero as at the end of the um final year which is year 2025 so this is a situation where we are using the declining balance method and there's no salvage value so let's quickly look at the second example which is the double declining so the double declining and we are also assuming there's a salvage value okay we also need those information you need the cost of the asset the year it was acquired the useful life and then the depreciation rate also in this case we calculated our depreciation rate which is one divided by the useful life which is 20 percent but this will give us just the rate um as it means um straight line so for double declining you're going to multiply by what two double declining so in the first one it was just declining it wasn't double okay but here double declining so you're going to multiply by what 
two so 20 percent times two which is 40 percent so that will be our depreciation rate as you can see right here so now let's start calculating our depreciation expense so what we're going to do in the first year we're going to multiply the cost which is 140,000 multiplied by the depreciation rate times the period okay this was acquired in april so we have nine out of 10 out of 12 months so multiplied by nine divided by 12 so april to december will be nine months okay and then that will give us our depreciation and then to get the value at the end of the year that will be your cost which is 140,000 minus the depreciation for that year that will give us the value so in the second year you are not going to multiply the cost like we did the other time you are going to multiply the value that's the net book value times the depreciation rates and then this time we are taking the full year which is 12 divided by 12 so you keep doing that multiplying the year and value times 40 then when you get to the last year in this case because there's a salvage value so the value as at the end of the fourth year minus twenty thousand you're going to take away that salvage value so this will be the depreciation we are going to take for this final year and at the end of that 2025 we are going to be left with um, a value of twenty thousand okay because that will be the salvage value in the first example we were left with a value of zero because there was no salvage value but for here in the last year you're going to take away the salvage value from the net book value as at um, year four and that will give you your depreciation and then the value at the end of the year will be your salvage value so this is the double declining balance method okay and here we have just the declining or the reducing balance method so that is all i have for you today i want to thank you for watching I'll see you in my next video and bye.